Hey everyone and welcome back to some more yoga. I hope you all had a really great and restful Victoria Day long weekend. I don't know about you guys, but all of this rainy, foggy weather that we've been having has just drained me. Um, and so with that in mind, I thought I would put together a bit of a slower class for today ease us back into the work week after a long weekend, something to stretch the body out, keep it moving, um, but also to give the body rest. So I know you guys have been working really hard with Owen's workouts. I know they have been kicking my butt. Um, and so today I just wanted to do something that got the blood moving and the body moving, but also help you find some peace and some rest and hopefully lift your spirits with all this rain. <laughs> and um, yeah, so with that in mind, let's get started. We're all gonna meet in Shavasana. So again, Shavasana is also known as corpse pose, where you're lying on your back and your hands down by your sides, palms facing up. And you can either keep your eyes open or let them close. Whatever helps you to calm down, to relax, and allows you to begin drawing your awareness to your body rather than being distracted by everything that's around you. And I like to start every class with a head to toe scan just to see where you're at today, how you're feeling physically, are you tired, are you feeling really energized, ready to move. And then also just like mentally and emotionally, like do you feel drained emotionally right now? Uh, are you really just mentally tired? Because when we know how we're feeling, both physically and mentally and emotionally, we know uh, what kind of class to expect sometimes, like we need to go a bit easier, um, or maybe we can challenge ourselves a little bit more. So just spend the next few moments here, from the tip of your head to the bottom of your toes, just scanning, how you're feeling, how you're doing right now. Then place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, go to our belly breathing. We'll go for a count of four on an inhale and a count of five on the exhale. So as you inhale, draw the breath into your belly, then up to your ribs, and lastly into your chest. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, everything will draw back in towards the midline. So inhale for a count of one, two, three, four, exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Last time all together, inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Let your hands come down by your sides again and your breathing return back to normal. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing movement back into your wrists and your ankles, and maybe nodding your head side to side to wake up the neck. Mm -hmm. 
Let your head come back to center and draw your right knee in towards your chest, wrapping your hands either on the back of the thigh or in front of the knee and shin. Drawing your right knee in towards your chest as you flex your left foot to get a nice stretch through the left hip flexor. If you feel any pinching or discomfort in the low back, you can bend the left knee, placing your foot on the mat. And just finding what position feels best for you and let, what lets you get the deepest stretch. Final inhale and exhale. And then switch your feet so your right foot extends at long, foot is flexed, and left knee draws in towards your chest. Maybe notice how this side might feel different from the right. into a reverse tabletop. Your left arm will come up over your head and then roll onto your left side into the fetal position. So you're using your left bicep as a cushion for your head right now. ready, push yourself all the way up into a cross-legged seated position, about halfway up your mat. Sitting up nice and tall on your sits bones, again, making sure that you're not having rounding in your lower spine. Place both hands on your knees and we'll come through a few rounds of seated cat-cow. On an inhale, draw your chest forward. Open up the chest. Kind of leaning forward here. Head comes up. And then as you exhale, rounding through the spine, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Inhale back through cow. Exhale through cat. Two more times. Inhale through cow. Exhale through cat. Last time. Inhale. Open up the chest. Exhale to round the spine. Return to a upright seated position. I'm going to turn to face the camera here, but you can stay where you're at. We'll come through a few rounds of our lateral side bends. Place your left hand on your left side, kind of whatever spacing you would like. Inhale, sweep your right hand up, overhead, begin to side bend over to open up the right side body while keeping both hips or both sits bones firmly on the ground, so no popping up here. Inhale back to center, sweep the other way to open up the left side body. Chest remains open here. Inhale back through center, exhale the other way. 
Inhale through center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale returns you back up to center. And then we'll come into a tabletop position. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Your elbow pits point forward, elbows point back. Your knees can come out just a few inches past tabletop. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back into our first downward facing dog. Keeping a nice bend in the knees. Being gentle with the body right now. You can pedal out your legs. We sway the hips. Just want to make sure that we're keeping the tailbone up towards the ceiling rather than rounding under here. So we're going to keep a nice generous bend in the knee. Look between your hands and slowly walk your feet up towards the top of your mat into a forward fold. Again, nice bend in the knees. And then keep that bend here in your knees and slowly rag doll up. Slow and controlled. Head comes up last. So we'll be in Tadasana at the front of the mat. Big toes together, heels slightly apart or taking a hips width apart. Arms are down by your sides, palms facing open. And we're going to come through what's called moon salutation. So we've done sun salutation A and B many times before in other classes. Uh, sun sal A is a very common one to do to prep the body to warm it up as we go into uh, the more vigorous components or sequences of a class. But we're going to introduce moon salutation today is quite a bit longer but very restful so good to calm the body prepare it to go to sleep you have sun daylight warming up and then moon kind of calming cool down but still has the body moving so into the asana chest is open you can have your eyes open or closed again just choosing what feels best for you Spread your toes nice and wide, feet firmly grounded into your mat, finding length through the spine. Inhale to sweep your arms up overhead, clasp your hands together, but keep pointer finger and your thumb up pointing towards the ceiling. Your biceps will come by your ears. And then exhale, begin to push your hips out towards the left as your arms come over to the right into a standing lateral side bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale your hands down by your sides and turn to face the left side of the room. Take a giant step with your feet. Your feet come out to about 10 and 2. Sink your hips down back into goddess pose. I'll take three breaths here. to stand, place your hands on your hips. Your right foot will turn off to the front of your mat. Your left foot, so your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Kick your hips out to the back wall. Arms are parallel to the ground. Begin to lean forward as if you're trying to touch the wall in front of you and then when you can't reach any further, place your hand either on your shin, your ankle, or the mat to come into triangle pose. Chest is open here. 
your left hand, the fingers are active, trying to reach the ceiling. Really finding length. Come to stand. Place your hands on your hips and then walk your back leg in just a little bit and close your feet off both to the front of the room. You can take a bit of a wider stance here if you're feeling unbalanced and then shift your hips again squaring them off to the front of the room and begin to hinge at the hips into flank pose. So we're folding over you can bend your front leg a little bit if it's a little too intense or if you're having a hard time keeping your hips level here and squared off. So we're really trying to draw that right hip crease back and it's sometimes helpful if you've placed your hand in the hip crease and kind of push it back. So if that's helpful for you, you can try doing that. both hands on your hips, inhale all the way up to stand, your left leg, so your back leg, sit it out nice and long, coming into a low crescent lunge, and then lower your knee all the way to the ground, lean forward, opening up the chest and the hips. Place your hands down on the mat, tuck your toes, lift your knee, walk your hands out in front, and then begin to lean over your right leg. So in the camera it's going to be flipped, um, because now I'm facing the camera, so I apologize if that gets a little confusing. Just listen to my words. Inhale up through center, exhale over the left side. So we get a nice stretch through the inner thigh. You can lift up the foot too if you'd like. Or place your hands on the mat as well. So again, decide whatever feels most comfortable for you. Place your hands down on the mat, turn to the back of the mat now. Place your right knee, so your back leg, onto the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead into a low crescent lunge. And then lean into it, opening up the hip here. Place your hands on the mat, tuck your toes, lift your back knee up, inhale your arms up overhead in the high crescent lunge, and then plant your back heel on the mat, hands come to your hips, walk your back leg in just a little bit to square off your feet to the back of your mat, hips are squared off. Begin to hinge from the hips back into flank pose. Now on the left side. Again, make sure that your hips are equal, that they're even, and that the left hip 
isn't trying to sneak forward. Inhale, come to stand. Your right foot, so your back foot steps back, parallel to the back of your mat. Shift your hips back, arms come forward, parallel to the ground. Lean forward as far as you can, and carriage any further, lower down into triangle. off to the side wall, returning back into God's pose, so sit your hips back down, arms come up into Goddess. on your hips, slowly come to stand and step to the top of your mat. Sweep your arms up overhead, hands clasp, thumbs and pointer fingers reach up towards the ceiling. And then this time, kick your hips out to the right as you side bend over to the left. all the way back up, unclasp your hands, and let them lower down to your side, back into the asana. Feet firmly rooted into the mat, chest open. Take three breaths here to close off our first ever moon salutation. So stay where you are. I'm going to turn to face the camera again. We'll come into tree pose. So you're already in the perfect position in Tadasana. Begin to peel your left heel away from that kind of the balls of your toes. Your hands can come onto your hips if you'd like. And then open up your knee so that the bottom of your foot can either come to your ankle your shin or up to your inner thigh, coming into tree pose. Your hands can stay on your hips, be down at your sides, palms near the heart center, or reaching up above. Choosing whichever variation is best for you while challenging you. back into your breath here, calming ourselves back down, lower your hands back down to your hips if they're not already there, close your knee off to the front of the room and then kick your leg out in front of you and slowly lower left leg down to meet right. You can shake out your legs and then we'll come into tree pose 
on the right. So again, Tadasana, firmly rooting your feet into the mat. Your right heel lifts away from the ground, so you're on the ball of your foot. Open the knee up to the side wall, and then place it, your ankle, shin, or inner thigh. And then choosing whichever arm variation is best for you. And then maybe notice how the one side feels different from the other. Maybe you're more balanced on one side. And notice if maybe you're more balanced on your dominant side or your non-dominant side. together here and again take whatever position allows your knees to relax if you're very tight in the hips then you can place some pillows underneath trying to bring the mat or the ground up to you so that the muscles have something to relax into sit up nice and tall on your sits bones and then begin to lean forward as far as you can go so you feel a nice stretch but you're able to relax so if you are holding your breath if it is painful or very uncomfortable to hold for longer than like three to five breaths then just come out of it a little bit more so that the muscles can relax and you might find that after a few breaths you can get into a deeper position I like to sway side to side a little bit. So that might work for you, maybe you don't like that, but it's always an option. To a tall seated position. Close your legs up like a book. Maybe shake them out a little bit. And then we'll come into a wide legged child's pose. So your knees will be out of a mat's width. Toes are together. Sinking your hips back down towards your heels. Arms extend out long and your head will rest on the mat. If you would like to get into a more active child's pose, you can either lift your hands up so that you're like tenting your fingers to get a nice stretch through the shoulders, or you can reach uh, the edge, grasp the edges of your mat and push your hips back into your heels to get a nice stretch through the low back. So hold this for a little bit so you can choose either one or both, whatever feels best for you. Slowly make your way up, 
And then we'll all meet on our back. Your knees can come up into a reverse tabletop position. Arms will either be out in T or cactus. Again, just choosing whichever you prefer. And then slowly lower your knees down to the left to come into a twist. Again, your shoulders should be resting on the mat. So you can place maybe a pillow or roll the towel underneath your right shoulder if it's popping up, or your right hand can reach for right hip, just to take any unnecessary tension out of the right shoulder. And your gaze can be straight up or to deepen the twist. You can nod your head over to the right. back to center and knees back to center and then lower your knees down over to the right again choosing the best neck position for you Carefully return back to center. Hug your knees into your chest and you rock side to side. Put in circles with your knees. Again, whatever feels best for you. And then when you're ready, after taking any necessary last movements, come into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Legs extend out long. Arms extend out long beside you, palms facing up. You can keep your eyes open or let them close. Just spend a few minutes here in this resting position. I'm not trying to play with the breath at all. Just letting it come in through naturally. Maybe finishing off with another head to toe scan to see how your body feels now compared to the beginning of class. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel a little calmer, nicely stretched out. I will see you Thursday.